Hello everyone, I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in our next series of video lecture. We have started a new series of video lecture and that is for design of synchronous machine. In today's video lecture, we will study about introduction to design of synchronous machine and basic details about main dimension. So, we need following design regarding all the information of synchronous machine. So, we design main dimension of stator frame, whatever data we require for stator, that is a stator bore diameter, stator call length, outer diameter of frame and all the design status of stator is designed in the first step. Then next step that is complete details of stator winding. Then details of rotor and the rotor winding. And at last performance of the design parts to justify the design whatever we have done. To carry out this design the designer need following the parameters to start the design. First of all, we require detailed specification of the synchronous machine. In specification, we basically require rated output in KVA, sometime rated output in MVA if a bigger alternator we need to design then a rated voltage in KV, speed, frequency, motor or generator we need to design accordingly whether synchronous machine we are going to design that is motor or generator. Then type of synchronous machine whether it is salient pole type or non salient pole type. Then connection of the stator winding. In case of a generator, we use a star connection, then a limit of temperature rise, whatever class of insulation we have used, accordingly we have limit of temperature rise. Then design equation, based on which the design is initiated. Proper information for choosing justified values of various design parameters like uh, specific magnetic loading and specific electric loading. Knowledge of available material and their behavior. We use uh, different magnetic material, we use uh, conducting material and we use the insulating material. So while designing knowledge and behavior of all this available material, we need to uh, decide. Then limiting values of the performance parameters. For example, short circuit current, efficiency, iron loss, that is all uh, limiting values. So during design, we have or we should have knowledge of all these parameters. Then what is the objective of doing all this design? So designer must keep in mind that uh, the synchronous machine should be designed with a lower cost, smaller size and less weight. But at the same time, all the three parameters cannot be achieved. If we go for a best performance of synchronous machine, then it is going to be costly. And if we go for cheaper design, then some of the performance parameters might be compromised. So we start with the main dimension. In case of main dimension, we have 
This is shown a stator. So stator bore diameter and stator length can be achieved. That is a stator and uh, this is a rotor. This is general stator and rotor design for any simple rotating machine. So we have a stator as shown in figure. Then we have a rotor and in between stator and rotor we have small air gap. Stator overall call length that is indicated by capital L and stator bow diameter, inner diameter that is uh, known as a diameter, main, a diameter main dimension and it is indicated by capital D. So this is a main dimension which we need to design at the starting point. So in today's video lecture, just uh, it is a very introductory that why we need to design, what we need to design and with which available parameters we need to design and we always start with uh, main dimension. So what exactly we mean by main dimension? So I stop here in this video lecture. We'll see further designing part of synchronous machine in our next uh, series of video lectures. So keep watching my video lectures for design parameters of synchronous machine. Thank you for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you. Thank you very much.